Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that. Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels. Gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed? Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, dig, lads, dig, just pop down a second, OK? Right. You were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Noise. Now look, I'm the king and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. 
Below that, I'm the boss. But we can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please. Everyone. Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf Mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> Very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! with all the dwarves around. I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no. What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, 
They'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows! This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm. Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, Strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Ah. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? Me! <laughs> Righty ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids! What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies! Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. 
<laughs> These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> What did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said, Bat. But what does Bat mean? Bat means Bat. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> <whistles> <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <whistles> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <whistles> wow. <whistles> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A, a cow! cow. <laughs> 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 she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk! Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> and there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <laughs> Now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh! That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh! Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no. It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look. It's not magic. It's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. <laughs> Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray for Lucy! And hooray for the little fairies! And elves! Hooray! We've been to the big farm.